We are currently back in Whiterun. We needed to get down here from the far north, if just to inform the Yarrow about Ulfric Stormcloak's plan to attack. Once this is done, we can ironically return to Windhelm to take the boat back to Solstheim, just to deal with whatever has invaded Dumspithlar. Now that we have dealt with the Butcher in Windhelm, met with the crazy hermit Septimus Cygnus, and given direction to the next Elder Scroll here in Skyrim, we can then come back home and get back to work on what really needs to be done, stopping Harkon. Sarana's father. It was good that even she agreed that it is inevitable that what we are doing will lead to Harkon's final death. She said she still cared about her parents, but she knows her father's action will only lead to a very bad future, and he must be stopped. I think she has resigned herself to knowing we will have to put him down. There is no other way around it. But first, we need two Elder Scrolls, and since we have the one already and know the general direction of the second, all we need to do now is to go and find it. There are too many things that I would like to do or just need to do in Skyrim for me to settle down, though I have been thinking about what I want, of course. But since everywhere I go people cry out for help from the Dragonborn, it is hard to even consider settling down. But what about Lucia? I would like to give her a home where she can still be close to a town, yet have a farm. I don't want to live in that farm just east of Rorikstead that I own, not after that family there all died. Living in a place like that is just a bad omen for terrible things to be visited upon us. So we won't live there. At most, I will just use it as a farm and sell the proceeds. So thinking of family... <sighs> this was a big step for me. I sent off a letter to my brother Hafnar down in the Imperial City. In it I wrote, Brother, I hope you are well down in Cyrodiil. I don't know if you have heard about it, but I left the Imperial City some months ago and are now living back in our home province. I have a new and good life up here. I met a woman and, despite our differences, are in the process of getting to know one another. Yes, she is a Nord. I have a house in Whiterun close by the old Tundra home, and have even adopted a little girl named Lucia. She's an Imperial, and I hope to give her a good life that the streets of Whiterun couldn't. I've been surviving by living the life of an adventurer. I don't know if you have heard it or not, but the name Toro Jensen is becoming famous up here. You have heard of the Dragonborn, yes? Well, I am the Dragonborn. By now, all of Tamriel should have heard that the dragons have returned. Yes, I kill dragons and absorb their souls. There is a lot of trouble up here now, even without a civil war going on. Dragons, vampires, cultists, and a whole bunch of other things, nasty things, are happening. As the Dragonborn, I am doing all I can to defeat evil and make this land peaceful again. Now, despite how this might sound like Shiagorath has taken me, it is all true. Come up to Whiterun and ask about the Dragonborn yourself if you do not believe me. Everyone knows where I live, and it is well protected by my housecarl, Lydia. Yes, I have a housecarl, because I am a thane in Whiterun. Now with all of this happening, I do not need my waterfront shack any longer, and to you, I bequeath this home as yours to do with as you see fit. Sell it, fix it up, rent it out to a tenant, do what you wish with it. I do this in the hopes of us finding peace with each other. We no longer need to be at odds. I will not say I'm sorry for doing what I did to find my daughter, and you are a staunch Imperial who never questions the Empire. I get it. I love the Empire too, but my daughter comes before even that. But that does not mean I am a disloyal fool who father would never approve of. I'll leave it at that. If you ever get word of my daughter Salonia, please send a letter to Breeze Home in Whiterun immediately. I will do everything I can to come and find her, wherever she is. Your brother, Torald. Now if he doesn't think I have lost my mind, maybe, just maybe, we can be brothers again. The last time I saw him, I had beaten him up. Athgurt. I'm getting tired of losing all the brawls here. Want to hear a little Lord wisdom? You don't really know a woman who you've had a strong drink 
and a fist fight with her. Well, we're not going to get married or anything, but let's have a fist fight again. How can I argue with that? Uh, be the first combatant. Of course. Keep walking, soft god. I'm more woman than you can handle. <laughs> you think you can take me on? And why not? I could beat anyone in this city, barehanded. A hundred gold says I knock your hide to the ground. Uh, okay, let's go. You're on. Just fists. No weapons, no magic, no crime. Let's go. You put that sword away. Come on. Let's see what you're made of. Uh. Uh. Lucian, this might be my chance to punch you in the face if you get in the way. Stay out of the way. You think I'm afraid of you? Good fight, going. That the best you can do? Well, hit you pretty good. Getting tired. <sighs> Lucian, back up. Just a scratch. I told you, Lucian. I wasn't even trying to hit you. Cold is more likely to take me down than you are. This is the third fight we've had. I lost the first one, won the second. You're a disgrace to your own kind. Really? My kind is your kind, aren't you, Nord, too? I guess we're both disgraces. That's all you got? Lucian, I told you to get out of the way. You call yourself a Nord? I'm going to need a bath after this. Ow. 
explosion. You Fool. Think I'm afraid of you? I can keep going. I don't know about you, though. Come on, give up. You're beaten. Now that's what I call a punch. You got me. I think I've earned that to 100. You're no liar. Best fight I've had in years. There you are. If you ever need another blade at your side, just ask. Wouldn't mind seeing how you handle a few trolls. Well, I can beat Uthgurt. But a couple of these other people have fought in the last while. Really, really tough. I need a bath. I need to go rest. And we'll go and tell the Yarrow in the morning. Alright, I've had a nice bath. Everybody's going to go to sleep in Bree's home. Miko's going to stay home. I've had enough of him getting in the way. It's not that I don't like the dog. It's just it's too crowded with Lucian back. Really feeling it. So it's either Lucian or Miko. And believe me, I had to think twice about that one. Mystery of Princess Talara, Part 2 by Mira Lyth Lilkith. What kind of name is that? Lykith. Two L's? Lykith. She felt nothing. Darkness enveloping her body and mind. Pain. Oh yeah, she fell through underneath the city. Pain surged through her leg, and with that sensation, a great feeling of cold washed over her. She opened her eyes and saw that she was drowning. Her left leg would not move at all, but using her right one and her arms, she pulled herself up toward the moons above. It was a long way through the swirling currents that wrenched back at her. At last she broke the surface and sucked in the cold night air. She was still close to the rocky shoreline of the capital city of the Kingdom of Camlorn, but the water had carried her quite away from the point where she fell at Cavalstir Rock. Not fell, she thought, correcting herself. She had been pushed. Further down current, she allowed herself to drift. There, the steep cliff walls sloped lower until they were close to the water's edge. The silhouette of a large house on the shore loomed ahead, and as she neared it, she could see smoke rising from the chimney and the flicker of firelight within. The pain in her leg was great, but greater still was the chill of the water. The thought of a... Warm hearth fire was all the motivation she needed to begin swimming again. At the shore's edge, she tried to stand and found she couldn't. Her tears mixed with the seawater as she began to crawl across the sand and rock. The simple white sheet which had been her costume at the flower festival was tattered and felt like a weight of lead across her back. Beyond the point of exhaustion, she fell forward and began to sob. Please, she cried, if you can hear me, please help. A moment later, the door to the house opened and a woman stepped out. It was Ramke, the old lady she had met at the flower festival. The one who had started and cried, it's her. Even before she herself knew who she was. By contrast, when the old woman came to her, this time there was no glimmer of recognition in her eyes. By Sith Sethiet, are you hurt? Ramke whispered and helped her up, acting as her crutch. I've seen that gown before. Were you one of the dancers at the flower festival tonight? I was there with Lady Jilla Reyes, the daughter of the king. I know, she introduced us, she groaned. I called myself Jaina of Daggerfall. Of course, I knew you looked familiar somehow, the old woman chuckled and let her hop. By hop across the beach and on to the front door, my memory isn't as good as it used to be. Let's get you warm and have a look at that leg. Ramke took Jaina's soaking rags and covered her with a blanket as she sat at the fire. As the numbness of the chill water began to leave her, it cruelly abandoned her to the intense agony of her leg. Until then, she had not dared to look at it. When she did, she felt vomit rise at the sight of the deep gash, fish white dead flesh plump and swollen. Ooh. Thick arterial blood bubbled up and splashing on the floor in streams. Oh dear, she said, the old woman, returning to the fire. That must rather sting. You're lucky that I still remember a little of the old healing spells. Ramke seated herself on the floor and pressed her hands on either side of the wound. Jana felt a flare of pain and then a cool, soft pinching and prickle. 
When she looked down, the ramp key was slowly sliding her wrinkled hands toward one another. At their approach, the lesion began to mend before her eyes, flesh binding and bruises fading. Sweet Kinrith, Jaina gasped, you've saved my life. Not only that, you won't have an ugly scar on your pretty leg, Ramki chuckled. I had to use that spell so many times when Lady Jilla was little. You know, I was her nursemaid. I know, Jaina smiled, but that was a long time ago and you still remember the spell. Oh, when you're learning anything, even the school of restoration, there's always a lot of study and mistakes. But once you're as old as I am, there's no longer any need to remember things. You just know. After all, I've probably cast it a thousand times before. Little Lady Jilla and Little Princess Talara was always getting cut and bruised. Small wonder, the way they was always climbing all over the place. Jaina sighed. You must have loved Lady Jilla so much. I still do, Ramki beamed. But now she's all grown and things are different. You know. I didn't notice it before because you were all wet from the sea, but you look very much like my lady. Did I mention that before we met at the festival? You did, said Jaina. Or rather, I think you thought I looked like Princess Talara. Oh, it would be so wonderful if you were the princess returned, the old woman gasped. You know, when the former royal family was killed and everyone said, the princess was killed, though we never found the body. I think the real victim was Lady Jillia. Her little heart just broke, and for a while it looked like her mind did too. What do you mean? asked Jana. What happened? I don't know if I should tell a stranger this, but it's fairly well known in Camlorn, and I really feel like I know you. Ramke struggled with her conscience and then released. Jillia saw the assassination, you see. I found her afterwards hiding in that terrible bloodstained throne room, and she was like a little broken doll. She wouldn't speak. She wouldn't eat. I tried all my healing spells, but it was quite beyond my power. So much more than a scraped knee. Her father, who was then Duke of Aloyne, sent her to a sanitarium in the country to get well. That poor little girl, cried Jaina. It took her years to be herself again, said Ramke, nodding. And, in truth, she never really returned altogether. You wonder why her father, when... You wonder why her father, when he was made king, didn't make her his heir? He thought that she was still not exactly right, and in a way, as much as I would deny it, he is correct to think so. She remembered nothing. Nothing at all. Do you think, Jana considered her words carefully, that she would be better if she knew that her cousin, the Princess Talara, was alive and well? Ramke considered it. I think so, but maybe not. Sometimes it's best not to hope. Jana stood up, finding her leg to be as strong as it looked to be. Her gown had dried and Ramke gave her a cloak, insisting she protect herself against the cold night air. At the door, Jana kissed the old woman's cheek and thanked her, not only for the healing spell and for the cloak, but for everything else of kindness she had ever done. The road close to the house went north and south. To the left was the way back to Camlorn, where secrets lay to which she alone held the key. To the south was Daggerfall, her home for more than twenty years. She could return there, back to her profession on the streets, very easily. For a few seconds she considered her options and then made her choice. Camlon, right? She had not been walking for very long when a black carriage drawn by three horses, bearing the Imperial Seal, together with eight mounted horses, drawn by three horses with eight mounted horses, passed her. Before it rounded the wooded pass again, it stopped suddenly. She recognized one of the soldiers as Norbooth, Lord Strail's manservant. The door opened and Lord Strail himself, the Emperor's ambassador, the man who had hired her and all the other women to entertain at the court, stepped out. You, he frowned. You're one of the prostitutes, aren't you? You're the one who disappeared during the flower festival? Jana, am I right? All that is true, she smiled sourly. Except my name, I've discovered is not Jana. I don't care what it is, said Lord Strail. What are you doing on the road's south road? I paid for you to stay and make the kingdom merry. If I went back to Camlorn, there would, there are a great many who wouldn't be merry at all. Explain yourself, said Lord Strail. So she did, and he listened. Oh, I thought the end of the, the story would be here, but apparently there's a third book. All right, well, I guess we have to go hunt it down. Mystery of Teller, Part 3, I suppose. Sarana, could you train me? Sure. In which skill? Hmm. How about alchemy? Alright then, let's begin. 
Serena begins, begins training me in alchemy. She teaches me what she learned from her mother, including skills from legendary innovators of the field. Well, I've seen it from a different perspective now. I think it helped. She has praised my alchemical skills before. I think Auntie would be proud of what I've been able to do. Both in the Mages Guild. Uh, why do I call it that? The College of Winterhold. And, um, with alchemy. I don't think there's a lot of floorboards. In fact, you know what? The entire floor I'd like to replace. Just rip it all out. Why did they go so cheap where they have holes through there? I wonder if that isn't made for the fire, though. It may have been designed like this on purpose. Yes? And then through the holes in the ceiling like that, and then... I'm oh, sorry, there's holes up here. Holes in the floor. The air does flow really well from the fireplace, at least. The smoke doesn't fill it up. Maybe that's why they call it Breeze Home. Oh, I didn't even know this. I have another weapon plaque. See, the last thing I'm going to do is leave that uh, sword here, though. Mind? Time to go. Let's go and, um... Let's go meet the Jarl. Tell him what's going on. A battle is probably going to come soon. Ah, it's early. And the Jarl's up. My lord. You've returned with my axe. I knew that would be his response. As soon as you left, I sent word to General Talius, who's been kind enough to lend us some of his troops and Legate Scipius here. Let Ulfric try to make it past our combined forces. I'll turn you back over to your legion. Legate Scipius will have use for you. Gods be with us all. Hmm. Why side with the Empire? Mutual advantage. Any fool can see that. For centuries, we have benefited from the Empire's protection and prosperous trade with the South. In exchange, the people of Cyrodiil sleep peacefully, knowing their northern border is guarded by the fiercest warriors in all Tamriel. <sighs> Excuse me, my lord. What will it take to end the war? Ulfric Stormcloak's head on a pike. Mm. Do you think Ulfric really cares about Skyrim's independence or the welfare of its people? Probably not. I promise you, he doesn't. He's nothing more than a barbarian renegade whose lust for power has Blood. cost the lives of countless Such innocents. Blood. Okay, thank you. My Keep lord, safe. take my leave and go speak to the legate. Is he upstairs? Is the war map upstairs? Maybe he's not even mm. awake yet. Whitron is no longer neutral. We're gonna have to change that. Let's see. Well, it says neutral, right? Whitron, but neutral Riverwood, Imperial Falkreath. I see, it's more like a purple for the neutral spot. Neutral Rorikstead. Imperials are really just in the northeast. Oh, they're also down in Falkreath. And also in um, Markarth. So the eastern, western half of the map, I should say. And Imperials at Morthal. Stone Hills. The green are bad. Well, I guess we have to wait for the Legate. Excuse me. Not sure what that Nord is doing over there. We need to wait, so let's find a place to sit, I suppose. That's what these benches are for. Time to wait. Maybe he'll be up in a couple hours. We did come early. Ooh. 
Oof. I do like this city. I like this the castle storm too. Are here. In force. Get down to the front line. This is it. We must hold the city. Now move it. They're here already. I'm just itching for a fight. The storm cloaks are yes. here. Yes. Okay. In force. Get down to the front line. This is it. My lord. Must hold the Good to see you. Okay. Well, well, you defend the castle, I suppose. Where's your brother? Where's your younger brother? I don't even see him. Maybe he's not doing too well since what happened. Hey Let's there, get going. Kitty. What are you doing? That is understandable, but annoying. <laughs> Very annoying. I'm warning you. Stop it. I take it that they're going to be outside. Inside the gate. Probably trying to use something to get in. The whole city is going to be... Ugh. Of course they started as soon... As soon as I tell the Yarrow. Not much help you're going to be. Ooh, they're already assaulting the city. They must have siege weapons out. Everybody get to cover! Go up, up to Dragon Reach. Why are people leaving? Good thing I got here when I did. I was gone for a few days. I didn't go directly from... Uh, Windhelm sure to kitty, here. Pretty kitty. Okay, enough of that talk with the kitties. Stop all right. Relax, relax. Take us out to the battle. You don't need to be so tight about it. You got to admit that. Mount up if you can. It's kind of funny. This is an important day for the empire. That's like a record right there. And for all of Sky the day we send a message to Ulfric Stormcloak and the rebel Yarls who support him. But make no mistake, what we do here today, we do for Skyrim and her people. It's coming from the woods up there. Of this rebellion, we will make this country whole again. Ready now! Everyone for the Empire! For the Legion! Ah! For the Empire! Oh, I see them. They're coming. Well, I am the Dragonborn. I should be able to defeat these Stormcloaks. Come on, send more soldiers than that. Even the cows are helping. Get the proper arrows. Plus, I don't want this to hit anybody near next to them. <laughs> She's dead already. Where are they? Did they get past? It's with the stone cow right there. How'd they get up here? They must have snuck up here. Where's Ulfric, huh? Ugh. Why are you fighting each other? Thank you. Curious. 
Skyrim belongs to the Nords, all right. All right, run. I'll let you go. I was sure I'd find your face down in the dirt. You! Hadvar! I haven't seen you since we went into that uh, old Nordic ruin. Oh, there's the Jarl. Revel in your victory here today, even as the gods revel in your honor. Yeah! They already sing of your valor and skill. The halls of I'm pretty sure I killed more than you. I was counting. In defeating these storm cloaked traitors, you have proven the hollowness of their cause and the fullness of your hearts. The citizens of Whiterun are forever in your debt. But Alfred will not stop here. No, he will continue to strike out against any true Nord who remains faithful to the Empire. He will continue to sow discord and chaos wherever he can. And so, we must, each one of us, continue to fight this insurrection, lest our fallen brothers have died for naught, lest our honor be lessened should we allow these bloodthirsty beasts to prowl our lands. Carry on, men. My gratitude and blessings go with you. For White Run, for the Empire. For the Empire. I don't think I'm going to find anything useful. In them. Maybe if I was just starting out. Well, we won. Thank you for your role in all of this. It would be my honor should you decide to make White Run your home. Speak with Preventus. He'll make the necessary arrangements. I already live in Bree's home. It is my home. I did get to home over in Riften, though. Well, they hit a few places. There's been some damage to the city. Inside, they're hitting, too. Not just on the outside. But it does rain here quite a lot. It's not exactly a. Uh, it's not like the desert of. Oh, excuse me. I'll swear. Or Heberfell. Yeah. I don't think I slept too well you last made it. night. I was sure I'd find your face down in the dirt. Hadvar. I'm pretty sure I killed more than you. Yeah, that's funny. I'll have to see you again. Uh, where is Ricka? I guess that's it. I report to General Tellius, but that'll be a while. I think the actual war, instead of just skirmishing, has begun. Ulfric started it. Assault on Whiterun. There's going to be repercussions. That's it. Duck, eat that thing. What does it... Did they put this up as a barrier? That's just very weird. Stone cow. Ah, oh, this is not my horse. Where are you, princess? I just saw her from up on the battlement. There she is. Alright, so now... Where do we go from here, huh? I suppose we should go return the white file and then go to Dumb Dumb's Bathar and then maybe come back and look into this uh, transcribing the lexicon. Hmm, what does he want me to do? He wants me to use some kind of machine there to inscribe a dwarven lexicon with the scroll's knowledge and bring it to him. I suppose I could do that. 
It's a dwarven observatory known as Elfhand. Elft? Elftland? Whatever. It's up here. Okay, first thing first. Let's uh, return to <laughs> the place that launched this attack, Windhelm. Oh. Okay, I am freezing. But I found a vigilant to Stendar. Hey. Walk always in the light, or we will drag you to it. Oh, good. You can drag this sword to it. I've come across this ebony blade. I believe it's cursed. Let's see it. Here. It's a Daedric artifact. Hand it over. I don't want it. Of course, please keep it safe. Wise decision. The vigilant of Stendark will guard this against future temptation. I hope so. If I hear that um, vigilant of Stendar are killing each other, then I know what happened. Well, that's the best place for it. Oof. It was a cold trip out here. Winter is upon us. And this place gets brutally cold. Oh, I'm very happy. To have gotten rid of that sword has also lightened up my carrying weight. Alright, let's go to the white file. Uh, it's cracked. I don't know how happy that old grumpy uh, Eltimer will be. Where is your... Uh, where's the old Eltimer that is here? My map? I'll Hello? never have Master Norellian skill with potions. So you think the white file exists? It doesn't matter what I believe. Norellian does. And it might be the only thing keeping him alive right now. Hmm. Until next time. Till next time. Well, you know what? I should sell some I things to you. Mind for potions, but I've Let's see what you have. Ah, so you're an alchemist then. Let's see what ingredients you have. Hmm. Take the garlic. Oh, oh, oh. Don't really think there's anything else. Uh, you don't have any fire, which one calls it. All right, let's sell what I can. There he is. Contemplating the end of your I days, there are you, simple. elf? Unless, of course, you were simple. That. Hey. Must you bother me now? You sent me out on this. Out where it is. I've brought the file, but it's damaged. This. Uh, it matches every description of the file that I've found in lore. But if it can't hold liquid, there's no way of knowing. How did you manage to damage it then? It was like that when I got this there, you old grump. for not retrieving it myself. Well, go out there with your old, decrepit self and see if you can do work like this. It was like this when I found it. Figures. I doubt you have sufficient knowledge to harm the file, even if you wanted to. Oh. Either way, this is the end of it. Now, if you'll excuse me. <laughs> Isn't there a way to repair it? I'm not quite in the mood to entertain guests. I trust you can show yourself out. Here's for your trouble. Five gold? This is not even worth hearing it out for five gold. Hey, uh, Quintus, right? I want to thank you for your help. I know my master can be a bit short at times. Hmm. He only gave me five septums. Oh, I'm sorry about that. Even though the file was damaged, I still think your efforts deserve reward. Now, if you'll pardon me, I'm going to tend to Norellian. I can make his final days a bit less painful. He's sleeping over there. Okay, well, that was a bit of a waste of time. We have to go back to Dumb's Bathar. But you know, I can summon Arvac out there. And so I think that that'll make the trip to Dumb's Bathar a lot more bearable. Let's get through this to this place. Ugh. I was told to go to this traitor here. Sagery's used wares. Dark the Elf. If you have any questions. I almost married a dark elf. Hey, uh, Sadri, right? How can I help you? Whoa. Where did you come from? Bye for now. Lucian, I'm here to trade. All my good. Hello. I like to share my good fortune with those who deserve it. Oh, uh, 
Who supplies your goods? I've scraped this collection together by whatever means I could. I do some business with the trade caravans, and I've picked up a number like of a items from adventurers like yourself. A few intrepid souls even brought some items back from Morvenskar, the fort southwest of the city. Morvenskar? Don't think I've heard of that. I nothing in here is stolen, nothing gems. at all? Of course nothing in here is stolen. Only a careless, shameful, idiotic fetcher would do something as stupid as to buy pilfered goods. Oh, by Azura, I've made a terrible mistake. Huh? I bought a gold ring, and Viola Giordano has been missing a ring that looks just like it. Oh, I see. Uh, I could return the ring for you. It's not that easy. She'd go to the Jarl if she knew I was even remotely involved. You have to get it to her some other way. Maybe I can put it in a drawer in her Look, house? It's dangerous. But if you sneak the ring into her house, put it in a dresser or something, I will make it worth your while. Hmm. Alright. I'll do it. So, anyways, what have you got for sale? Okay, Viola Giordano, I've already been in her home. I think they should burn that one down over there. Oh, these homes are much nicer than the one I'm living in. I wouldn't want to live in the city, though. That Ooh. lexicon Septimus gave us intrigues me. Hmm? It must be some kind of information storage device, but quite how it works. Yes, he wants me to go and... I wish I could see. We're gonna go there soon, after your dumbs, Bithar. Oh, we gotta be... You lost? Oh, great, she knows we're here. Well, if she's not around... See, these floorboards you can't see. Unless she's got, like, a peephole. Oh, she's right here. Hello. Hmm? Hmm. The streets are safer now, thanks to you. Careful! We've got to go and find a dresser that she is not... I'm just going to look at your home. It's actually quite impressive, if you don't mind. I wouldn't mind having a big hall like this and a fire. Oof, be nice. I do have some things to cook. Mmm, beef stew, yes. I just bought this beef. I love beef stew and salmon steak. And potatoes. Hmm. Hmm. Distractor for me. I guess I'm doing the distracting. Where's the ring? All right. Push like that? I must. You have a good day. I love your home. Oh. Got the bride here. Hello. Make it quick. Hope you have a good wedding. Need something. I hope you understand. I understand. Thank you. Just have a skeever running around. I'd rather have skeevers than spiders. What are you doing here? This is not the place for you. Especially being wounded. You have a death wish. I'm surprised they even allowed you in the city. Got something for just about everybody in here. Give a holler if you have any questions. Sidri. Have you taken care of that little problem? Yes. I placed Viola's ring in her house. Thank you, thank you. Azura's prophecy always guides you to fortune. Speaking of fortune, here. Everything I earned from my last shipment, it's yours. Oh, well. Wow. wow, that's a lot of gold. Huh. Do you train? In speech? You already know all that I know. All right. Well then, um... Farewell. Gods be with you. We're cut off. Afra was accused of stealing. I was dragged into an alley and mutilated with an unsharpened dagger. Oh. In cold blood. Well, that's terrible. I'm sorry that happened to you. Saved me after the Stormcloaks mutilated my arms. The Stormcloaks did it. Whew, don't get caught stealing in this city. Cut off both of your hands. What are you supposed to do? 
You the only thing you can do is go around begging. That's terrible. Throw him in prison for a few years. Don't cut off his means Let's of move surviving. Faster. The sun is it's not great for my skin, if you know what I mean. Yeah, we have to get to Dumsbithar. Let's go. What's this? Where is that? Some kind of red guard. Victory is yours. All right. Uh, he said he submits. Why was he fighting us? What? Quicksilver ingot. Alright, we've got... Here's Doomsbithar. We've made it. A fox. Probably one of the more normal things that lives on this island. Um, can I have... Hmm... Want to save the Black Briar? I don't have enough wine, not enough alcohol. There's no ale. I've been drinking it all up. Oh, excuse me. We're gonna have to find a place to sleep tonight. Leg of goat roast. Not that I was particularly hungry, but now I'm full. Yeah, if I can use Arvac to take me around the island, it would make it a lot faster and more bearable for me. Well, here we are. Dumbs Bithar. Well, I have no idea what's inside that has invaded it. I never wanted to come back here again. Twice. Well, I never wanted to come here the first time either. Alright, everybody on here. Could be reeklings. Be were bears. Berserkers? Marcus, it is good you have returned. The gate opened without warning and. Ah. You brought help. So. Uh. Surprise! This? I'd introduce you, but we're all already acquainted. Dumbsbathar? This, this is Doomsbathar. Say hello, Doomsbathar. Again, hello, you're using it? Gets me every time. Hmm. Wow, this is somewhat awkward. Yes, we defeated you last time I met you. Now, Lucian, you're using it to watch over this place. What has actually changed here? Wow, this is somewhat awkward. It won't be when we start speaking. Let's speak. How are you still alive? The machine you destroyed before was simply a shell. My consciousness is housed deeper within the vicinity and is considerably more durable. Master Flavius constructed me this perambulatory unit as a new interface with the world. It cannot leave the facility, but the level of freedom is gratifying. Are you going to try and kill me again? Negative. Master Flavius has installed new directives preventing me from doing so. So you're like a mechanical... And you have something to say, glimmer. don't you, Doomsbathar? Yes. I am... sorry. <laughs> sorry for what? Sorry for trying to burn you and possess your corpse. <laughs> there we are. That wasn't so hard now, was it? Oh dear. It would appear we have company. What is that? That's an actual Daedra. What are you doing in here? It. Take its heart. A Daedra cloak. Hmm. Could be enchanted, you know. I'll take it just in case. That was it. Uh, where's your Doomsbathar thing? Here it is. It would seem that while we have been wasting time and apologies, our more pressing concern has caught up with us. It's hard for me to understand what you're saying. More pressing concern? Tell me exactly what's happening here. 
Master Flan has left me to monitor the facility while he was away with you. Lock down the facility, yes. During his absence, the facility's oblivion gate activated unexpectedly, oh. releasing a number of my Daedric brethren into the core. Fortunately, the power surge was temporary, and I was successful in closing the gate again before too many were able to come through. However, the laboratory is currently overrun with Daedra, and the constraints Master Flavia has placed on me prevent me from repelling them by force. Alright. Thus, I activated the emergency warning, calling the two of you here. Now, I suggest you make this. My less sophisticated brothers and sisters may have already caused considerable damage to Master Flavius' equipment. Oh, are they? Shame that I would be. I will remain here to deal with any further outriders. Good luck, fleshlings. Try not to leak too much blood onto my mechanisms. To your mechanisms. Mr. Zomsbathar, I would like you worried. Inigo, Go speak. Go speak to it, Inigo. Chances. And my friend Lucian has chosen to give you one. I suggest you do not waste it. Second chance, don't waste it. Perhaps not, but I hope you will listen anyway. Because if you betray my friends, I will personally break you into a thousand tiny pieces and feed them to a horker. <laughs> Alright, um, I'm going to say, yeah, Lucian made it so it cannot defend itself or cannot go on attacking. There was a power surge and an oblivion gate had opened in the core room. And a whole bunch of, uh, Deidre came through. Where it is exactly. The core is... Yeah. Burnt me before. Not just me, everyone. Might take a while to get down to the core. I had to go search through quite a bit when I came back to get Lucian here. Let's go to the core. Oh. We're not at the core yet, but we found some Daedra. Do anything! These are extremely weak. But I'm getting hearts out of them. Daedra hearts. I wonder if I couldn't get fire salts out of these ones. Probably should try using my bow. I need better practice. Oh, there's three. It's frost atronach there too. Oh, let's try to take out the fire one. Got it. Got another one. These things are not very smart, are they? Salts. Why would a fire and uh, frost atronach be right next to each other? Flame atronach. Fire salts. Very nice. Creep cluster. I suppose we're going to keep running into them all the way. Where is the core from here? To the right. Down we go. Alright. <laughs> oh, this one took some hits. Unlike the other one. Z No, these Daedra hearts are really rare and valuable. Unless, of course, it's the Oblivion Crisis where they're pouring through the gates all the time. Uh, 
I don't know what that is up ahead. What is that? Something big and hairy. It's like it's floating. What is that thing? I have no idea what that is and you're in the way. These things are a little bit more nasty. Okay. Oh, it's dead already. Is that it? Anything else? What are these things? It has a book on it? Scroll to arms? Scroll. Call to arms scroll. Children of the sky. Why don't they have books on them? Not that there was more than two. Confessions of a Dunmore Schoomer? Uh, Schoomer Eater. <laughs> Got to get that one. Alright then. Is there more? I know there's different levels to here. These things are at least a bit of a challenge. Oh, what is that? Got it. What am I looking at? I don't know what that is. It's like it's fighting the other Daedra. It is. Maybe this will be a challenge. I could only hope. <laughs> Following in its wake. Looting. Going after the flame metronome. What? Oh, I had the ah. wrong shout. Whoa! What is with the tentacles everywhere? Oh, sorry, Inigo. Use the wrong shout. What in the gods is this thing? Ooh, that thing is hideous. Ring of Deft Hands. I could enchant that and sell it. Oh. Well, you brought the Dramora back. <laughs> that I never thought I'd see. Is there anything more? What in the world? Hello. You are a handsome chap, aren't Whose you? horse is that? Where did you come from? Did you come through the gate? But I understand. Maybe we should. You want me to? He's talking you. to you. I'm afraid you'll have to show me how. Here goes nothing. Maybe if it was lower to the ground, it'd be easier, Lucian. Well, maybe not. <laughs> wow, you have a horse. He's showing me how. Well, what do you know? The things you find in a Dwemer Ruin. Hey, you should close that gate right away. It's a little... Well, who knows what else will come through. More like ball again, maybe. So, I have a horse now. What do you think? Um... Uh... I think that's great news. Isn't it? I've wanted one for so long, but I've never been able to get the hang of riding. Luckily, Clive here has agreed to show me how. It's called Clive? Clive? Yes, Clive. It's his name. Or at least, that's what he told me. <laughs> the horse told you its name was Clive? Yes. I don't think this is a normal horse. It? No. I only heard you. Interesting. It must just be in my head then. 
I'm still working it out, but Clive is special. He isn't a Daedra, but you sure? he's not just an ordinary horse. He and I are linked somehow. Close that I gate. I don't understand what he's trying to say to me, and he says he wants to travel with us. Fine. I'm not sure how we'll get him out of here, though. Oh, Clive says he'll make his own way. He might not always be walking alongside us, but he says whenever I need him, he'll be there. Isn't that handy? I, I think, think Clive so. and I are going to be great friends. Uh, hmm. I'm really not so sure about this, Lucian. I came through the gate. I know this must be difficult for you to understand, but I can feel Clive's thoughts in my head. We can trust him. Can you trust me on that? Besides, you have to admit it'll be handy for me to have a horse I can actually ride. Hmm. Tell you what, let's take him for a trial run. Clive will come with us for now, and if you ever want me to stop calling him, just let me know. Deal? All right, deal. Splendid. At least you have a horse now. now. Enough chattering. Where are we off to next? Um, I can't believe you did this, Lucian. What's going on here in Doomsbathar? I know, I know. What'd you You're do here? You're that I brought Doomsbathar back, aren't you? Yes, and he tried to kill us. This is why I didn't tell you. I, I know he was evil before, and he tried to kill us, but I fixed that. You fixed it. I've installed it's a Daedra. new constraints on him that prevent him from harming us. Or anyone. I promise I would never put us at risk. I just needed the help. And an intelligence like that, with all his knowledge of the past, of the Dwemer... I couldn't just leave him. Surely you can understand that. But you went behind my back, you didn't tell me. I did. You're right. I shouldn't have done. I can't really make any excuses for it. I just did the wrong thing. If you don't want me to travel with you anymore, I understand. Lucian... I can just stay here if you prefer. If that's what you want. It's not what I want, of course. Do you know what? You need to be more honest and forthcoming. If we are to travel together and risk our lives next to fighting next to each other, you need to tell me what's going on. It's not what I want, so... Oh, thank you. I promise this will never happen again. I won't let you down, and you won't regret this. Now, shall we get moving? Alright. Well... Let's get back to it. You know what? I wouldn't want to have to face a whole group of these things. This is actually one of the scariest things I've ever seen. Look at his face. It's like a fish from the deep sea. <sighs> Don't want to fight that. Shoot it full of arrows and everything else I have before it gets to me. Alright, how do we get out of here again? This place is a bit of a maze. Alright. Um, my plan is to go take the carriage to Winterhold and then go west to uh, Aftland. Magnus is out shining, it's nice. The carriage is the safest way to travel. Hmm. Alright, let's go Where to... Where do you want to go? Where not many people go, Winterhold. Climb and back and we'll be off. Say what you will about the Dark Elves. He did a proper job with Azura Shrine. Can see it for miles on a clear day. Yeah, I've been there. Well, I haven't been there during the day. Maybe we can see it when we're leaving Winterhold. I know they want me to go to Sarthold. This is a bit too much right now. Everybody wants me to do something. Uh, he dropped us off right at the entrance. I don't know if there's anything on the board. Deliver letter to Windhelm. Well, might as well. Uh, Lucian's letter to Nirani. What? Good to see you. You have a letter? I'm here for the delivery job you posted. <laughs> of course. Uh, by 17th of last seed. 
Which is like two days from now. Oh, you know that that uh, elf, huh? All right. Let's see. I know who it is exactly. Too. Two days. I'm not even sure we'll be able to do that. Oh. It doesn't give us much time. Alright. I wish that there was a carriage here. I haven't really ex must have been beautiful Lord. back in the day. I wish I'd been around to see it. I haven't really explored the place. I have explored the the Mage's College, but College of Winterhold. I don't know how that fool is still alive. Burnus Oddmits. Beautiful blonde Nord woman. Hello. You couldn't possibly be the dragonborn of legend, could you? No. Oh. Uh, let's see what you have for sale. Take a look. Right, I sold her what I could. Thank you, Berna. Mm -hmm. You have soul gems here. Yes. Ooh. Don't hit the animals. How come there's no uh Oh, did you need something? Oh, who are you? You work What can I do for you? You work at the inn. I'd better get going. Um There's no libraries in all of Skyrim. Or well, not really library, but I mean bookstore. Hmm. Okay. Take the book. Part three. Glad I looked around. As I said, not many Nords have... They don't really have books. There's no bookstores in all of uh, Skyrim. What's going on with that? There's a library at the College of uh, Winterhold, but that's it. Well, I got the third part. I don't know if it's the last part. Hopefully it will be. Watch so, out, please. You know your way with a blade, huh? Yes. You know... You know your way with your sharp tongue. You're the one that's been teaching me to be more charismatic. So this is where the... Yarl is. I trust you're not planning any trouble. What can I do for you, friend? I haven't even been here. I haven't visited the Jarl. It's not much for the Jarl to rule over. Hello. Ours is My the Lord. only family left that truly cares what happens to Winterhold. Oh. I don't care how many colleges they build, or how much the sea swallows up. I'll outlast them all. Will you? Wow, look at this painting. Oh, that's a really interesting painting. Lots that going on wizard there. Is still at the inn. I can't believe Dagger alone. I am in your way. I am sorry. What's Hello? your business here in Winterhold? Uh, I was just here for the college. Should have known. Not that it matters anymore. No one bothers coming to Winterhold for any other reason. Hmm. So I'd like to know more about Winterhold's history. I used to live here when I was young. What's there to tell? It's mostly gone now. Thanks to those damn mages in the college. Someday there'll be proof they caused the Great Collapse. Most of the city just dropping off into the sea. That doesn't just happen. No, but we don't know if it was the mages. So you have a problem with the college? I do. And if you count yourself among their numbers, then you've blood on your hands as well. <laughs> I do for what? There's nothing left of Winterhold. I used to live here. Nothing. Everyone knows it's the college's fault that the sea <laughs> swallowed our city. Still, they deny it. But we all know the truth. Mm. Yes, I remember everyone. That's part of the reason why we want to move away. So you're the Jarl. I'm looking for work. Winterhold has lost much of its history. And with that, much of its power. I aim to change that. I've heard rumors of the resting place of the Helm of Winterhold. 
the very same helm that Jarl Hansa wore in the first era. Really? Hansa was in line to be High King of Skyrim, you know. Having that might get the ear of the other holds and give me some authority. Hmm. I'll recover the helm. Good. I'll have a sum of gold waiting for your return. Come back. Hell is folly. Helm. Where's that? Um. I guess I better look in my book. Hell is folly. Honestly, I have no idea where that is. It's not where I'm going. Helm of Winterhold and still. Hellas Folly is a ship, is it? Ingvild. Well, it's north of Dawnstar. Alright. Well, let's get going. We don't have much time. Daylight is burning. Okay. Try to make this as fast as possible. We have just over a day to get this done. And it's this way. At least Magnus is out. Shining brilliantly, so we can see for far, far away. Oh, excuse me. Well, I can see really far. Remember last time I came here, it was a blizzard. Look at all the penguins down there. Porkers. Alright. I think Sartho's kind of along the way, but we don't have time to even stop to take a breather. Mm, sorry. Yeah, Sartho is on the way. Hey, I guess I'm feeling hungry after all this traveling. Some beef stew. And... Um, I got potatoes, salmon steak, spice wine. That'll fill my belly up. Through the ice. Whoa. That's the bears. Oh, listen to that. Echo. Sorry, bear, I'm not your lunch. Oh, I remember hearing about the ice fields, but I've never been here. Right around Winterholm. Winterhold. Wow. I think my eyes have steamed up. Auntie said she's been through here. Um, this way. I think Sartho we just passed. We'll have to come back another time. Really ought to see, uh... Lucian on Clive. Is this it? Where are they? We find it. That's a wolf. Oh, what's that noise? You guys fighting with the fox? I hope I'm in the right place. The map kind of says I am. Where is the entrance to this place? Oh, there's a door right there. Something is above us. Hmm. You said you want to be here for this, Lucian. I don't know if we're going to be able to get to any sleep. We might have to race for Winterholm after this. Or Windhelm. Winterholm. Wind. Windhelm. Are we all here? The mask also keeps me warm, too. Oh. Expecting that. Definitely don't miss you things. Are we in the right spot? I don't know if we are. Uh, 
Oh. Looks like somebody was in here adventuring. Uh, if you have anything, take your wine. Another one? Dead? Take your wine, too. This place isn't exactly safe, I don't think. It's probably those things that we... Gold ore? Things that we destroyed. Silver ore. I heard that there's a spell where you can turn um, silver to gold. What's this do? Ooh. Maybe that's what got the last ones. Nice job. Anything good? All right, is this going to stop? Want to make this painful, do they? What? Nah! Whoa! Oi! Oi! They really don't want pe visitors! No! Careful! friend actually and a personal hero of mine okay I don't even know if we're in the right spot the stairs go up that way silver the ingot. only dwemer who didn't disappear was Yagram Bagan who wasn't on Nern at the time divines know where he is nowadays oh. what does that button do Yeah, you can turn iron to silver and silver to iron. There's spells for it. I don't know about pushing those buttons down there. Somebody has been through here. out of these receptacle thingies. Or these things on the walls. It's not going that way. I don't think I like this place. Maybe we see above where we were. Remember I saw that there was stuff. There's things above. This is... This is not Sarthal, is it? No, but we are close. Knew it would be this beautiful. Someone should really make a painting for this place. Someone should make a painting of you next to this. The light of Magnus on a nice day. Uh, be beautiful to see. In I go. Don't, don't follow him, Inigo. You know what they say about cats. Um, maybe he just lost one of his lives there. <laughs> I don't know. How do we get over there? Could I shout across? Or... We go that way? That seems too far away to safely traverse. Actually, Inigo might have had the right idea. But I don't have, like, a spell to make a soft landing, so... Uh, what have I gotten myself into? What? Ooh. Ah! There you are, Inigo. Or maybe we can go up around here this way. Maybe. Am 
Might have found what we're trying to get to. Well, somebody was staying here. This tense. Ooh. Was staying here. What happened to these people? Maybe a dragon got them. Is that a journal on the ground? We'll see. Emerald, gold, greater soul gem. Tribunal mask, ebony. So. Expedition manifest. We've managed to secure the site and hold off any others who may try to steal our discoveries so far, especially those from the College of Winterhold, who seem to think the glory of exploring every ruin should be theirs alone. The crew for our expedition is as follows. Sola Trabatius, myself, expedition leader, Umana, my constant companion, and bodyguard. Vali, a mage not associated with Winterhold, took some time to find. Endrest, a fellow explorer of some local renown. Yeg, great brute of a woman hired to help keep the rest of the labor in check. Jadar and Jazar, two Gajit brothers hired as labor. Need a couple more laborers. Getting through the ice is proving difficult. We set up shelter and scouted the area. The small ruins and the lower plateau of the glacier don't seem connected to the main structure, and we haven't managed to find a way into the lower parapet we found here. Yeg mentioned some botting a fissure in the glacier wall that may lead into the ruins, so we are going to try to find a way to get down there with the gear. Looks like a storm is coming. What's inside? No, we could set up our tents here, but... Never saw anything like this back on the island. I'm so glad I left that place. If there's like an expedition here and there's digging, kind of tells me that we're not going to be able to make it in time. I thought I saw a dragon over there. Ah, oh, there she is, the Shrine of Azura. Far away. We're not going to make it on time to Winterhold. Or, sorry. You know where I'm talking about. Windhelm. Ah, oh. this is kind of like Dumsbithar. How do we get in? Pretty sure we won't make it. Once we go inside, we're going to be in there for a while. Is there something I'm missing? What did he say? I don't think he gave me a book. He gave me some old Dwemer tools to use. Ah, uh, what do you say? Yeah, supposedly, he directed me to a dwarven observatory known as Elftland, southwest of Winterhold, that supposedly houses an Elder Scroll. He doesn't care about the scroll itself, but wants me to use some kind of machine there to inscribe a dwarven lexicon with the scroll's knowledge and bring it to him. Well, okay, so there is an Elder Scroll here. But I don't know how to get in. Oh, wait, wait, he gave me something, remember? I have to look at my inventory. Something that makes a tune. Dwarves used to use sound. For everything. There's a, a word for it. I forget what it is. As I said, it's been years since I read those old books and talked to Auntie about it. Attunement sphere? I think this is what he wants me to imprint the thing, a tomb and crystal. How do I use this? Is there a sound I'm supposed to make? Hmm, I don't know. Let's look through this. I wish I could see. I'm not sure if we're able to get in because nothing I'm doing is working. Maybe this is the way to leave. If there's another entrance, oh look at this. This could be what we need. They must have built this.
So they, it was an expedition, huh? Recent here. I wonder what they're looking for. Just studying Dwemer ruin, I guess. <laughs> Surprisingly warm in here. Looks like they were st staying here for a while. Extreme Magica. Something happened. Blood. Oh, well, we saw the, the burnt corpses up top, so I don't know. Wonder From the looks of this place, it looks like it was once a dwarven city. It's a shame, really. Now it looks so torn down. I would have liked to see cities like this. When they were still normal, at least. Now, their only population consists of these automatons. Mm -hmm. Really? What happened to the Dwemer? It still puzzles me to this day. Well, that was even after- that was before your time, too. Everybody wants to know how- th what they did to disappear. Where is it? I know you were trying to keep it for yourself, Jizar. You always try to keep it for yourself. No, there's got to be more skooma. Shut up! More skooma? Don't lie to me, Jizar. You hid it. You always try to steal it. Sounds like two Khajiits. Is that the Khajiit laborers that were in the book? You can tell me they went on a skooma filled rampage killing everybody. You heard that? Sounds like a ghost. Ooh. Not very impressive. Yeah, with ectoplasm you can make poisons. of an oil. Well, <laughs> this place is not very welcoming. No. Well, how is it that those two Khajiits lived and everybody else is dead? Something's not right. Petty soul gem. Research notes. Read dwarves? The lost race of Tamriel. By kill Samo. That's that uh, mage that wants to see me in Markarth. What's this research note say? If only Umana would have left one of these dwarven machine creatures intact for me to study. But the fact that they almost killed those Khajiit brothers in the middle of the night doesn't mean we couldn't have found a way to disable one. We dragged some stuff in front of the pipes they came out of to stop them from coming back. They are simply fascinating. It is just as Kelsemo described in Dwarves Volume 2. Their appearance does in fact resemble that of an arachnid. I had thought that to be an embellishment given by his source. The inclusion of the soul gem into the design of the apparatus is quite remarkable. It could explain the focus for the lightning, lightning that he describes. Oddly enough, it doesn't appear to be the main power source for the apparatus. Perhaps some sort of harmonic resonance with the energies contained in the soul gem to bring heat to a small boiler? Too early to say, conclusively. That does raise the question of where they get the the liquid for the boiler, however. Huh. That was strange. I thought I just saw something moving behind beyond the barred door. It looked vaguely humanoid. I wonder if it could be an undiscovered automaton? I'm going to move my bedroll down here to see if I can catch another glimpse of it. This is also exciting. Yeah, they need bodyguards. Good ones. Wemmer Inquiries, Volume 3. And he had books like this, too. Don't know how to open this up. I think we should look for those Khajiit. Oh. Mr. Dragonfly says that was an impressive kill. <laughs> Somebody just dropped their torch. They need... They probably are right around here. Ghostly remains. Was that from us? No. Another torch. Oh, 
Ultimate healing potion. I'll take that. What happened in here? They're using it to storage room. Yeah, I think we heard them through there. I remember that. Through the wood. Alright, move, Sorry. move, move. You die like the rest when you mess with the best. They're good at rhyming. How many torches did they need? Three torches. Who is this brother? Another of the smooth skins looking for food? This one wasn't. No. Hey, hey, just want to talk to you. <sighs> and he killed his brother? What is wrong with you? This is what Skuma will do to you. Elixir of the warrior. Hmm. I don't want potions of minor healing. You raise the brother, huh? Ultimate healing. Jazar's journal. This one is at his wit's end. I signed Jadar and myself up for this expedition to try to get him clean of the skooma. I brought a small supply to try to bring him down slowly, but the storm has had us trapped in the glacier for weeks. Oh, maybe there was a storm that when I was last here I encountered. The others have not yet caught on that that one with fur should not shake so much from the cold, but I've run out of the little skooma I brought, and Jadar is getting pretty bad. He started hallucinating creatures coming out of the ice and the ruins. The others are starting to think he may be behind Valley's disappearance, but I know he would never do something like that. Yet he killed you. Seven empty skooma bottles. Where's the brother? Oh, right here. I actually wish you wouldn't do that, Serena, because, no. I mean, he may have something on him. You've got to wait for him to... your spell to wear off. Hey there. I'm sorry your brother killed you. Sounds like you were doing the right thing. But this expedition was in trouble to begin with. Even without this scuba thing. Potion is the filter of strength. I will just keep going. Probably he just turns to ash. Oh, I wonder if we found it. Ay, ay, ay. I was just too late. When's it going? There we go. Nothing but the lockpick. Oof. All right, what did we find here? Amethyst. Greater soul temple. This is not what we're looking for, I don't think. Looks like there's gas in the air. Stay back here. Oh, what is it? Ah, uh, wait here. I'll be here. Just give a holler when you need me again. You too. What can I do for you, my friend? 
Our mage just stay here. I'll be right here. Come on, Iniko. My sword might set it off. You know what? I don't have to do any of these things. Just, um... Firebolt. Gah! Got to me anyway. This place is peculiar. Any more of that? Okay, let's keep going in. So, where are we off to now? What's on your mind? Don't we have some more important things to worry about mm -mm. right now? Mm -mm. Yes. Uh, I do so, need you to follow me. What do you want to talk about? Come with me. Whenever you're ready. Lucian Flood, how can I help you? Follow. Let's get moving. Let's get back to it. All right, now what's ahead? You have my back. Lucian, you have been targeted for that teach you. There is oil here. Watch out. I just don't want that to happen again. It keeps on happening to us. And there's gas in the air and there's oil all over the ground. I can unlock this. Spiders around here. Oof. <coughs> Ring of extreme alteration. It's worth a bit. Another chest. Flawless diamond. Gold. Hmm. That's all I want to take. Got it. Any more? What's this? Ooh. Oh, ooh, watch out! Uh. Sorry. Don't step on that. Ultimate Magicka. There's gas down there. Hit it with the firebolt. Chest. Ah, how do you open this one? There we go. Silver ring, flawless emerald. Layers of Burma ruins in Varden is quite different from those in Skyrim. I'll have to teach myself one day. What's the difference between them? Said the. Dwemer well, ruins in Vardenfell are much different from those in Skyrim. Well, let's search the rooms as we go by them. What's that? Somebody's bed. Doesn't look very comfortable to me. Let's collapse. 
first. That's not... This may be where we have to go. Is it trying to bash through the wall? All right, let's do this. Looked like it was trying to get through there somehow. Dwemer lever. Don't need those. Oh, hold on. We might have to go this way. Let's see what's through this door. Okay, why is your pet attacking everybody now? Stupid thing. You're fighting it. Amethyst. Dwarven oil. Another bedroom. Circlet of minor archery. Worth a bit. Gold sapphire ring. Ruby. I can't imagine sleeping on a stone bed. Look for more of that gas. I'm gonna come out of here. Hello. Knock, knock. Who's there? Oh, one came up here. We got one over there. I'm sure you three can handle it. Did we go through here? Yes, that was down below. Don't know what's going to be down this way. Hmm, much warmer in here. Just active. see too many of those things around. Flawless ruby. Well, if they have gems on them, I'll gladly take them. Or, or. So this is Alf Town. What a fascinating place. The point of puncture, Septimus called it. Puncture into what, though? Huh? Can it really be Blackbridge? Oh. Ah! What? Oi. No, not these things again. Sapphire. Oh, these things are very strange. More oil. Uh. I've got you in my sense. Hey, Lucian. Nice work. Is it just 
just me, or is that attunement sphere starting to hum? Is it? Hey, mm. we're probably going to come up against Falmer. Those chitin eggs again. Remember from that other place we went and fought them. Careful. Don't step on these. Ooh, ooh, ah, yeah. It wasn't me who stepped on it. Come on. Just come. You can reach. Got it. But you okay? A little chopped up a bit, I think. Lucian. Yes, Inigo? Tell me something fascinating to pass the time. Hmm, let me think. Legend tells of a powerful sorcerer known as Lord Cluttermonkey, <laughs> who so coveted material wealth that he was cursed by the gods to spend eternity in a magical warehouse full of, well, Clutter. Makes you think, eh? Very interesting indeed. Thank you very much. I think Lucian makes up half these stories. Who's there? That was not a fight. That was a deconstruction. Deconstruction, huh? Amulet of Xenathar. Oh, how far do we have to go into here? Hmm. Some kind of machine there to scrut a dwarven lexicon with the scroll's knowledge and bring it to him. What did he say about Blackreach tunnels underneath? Is that where we are now? More Falmer signs. These are like the little walls that they put up. Oh, it's on. What is it? Done and done. Alright. We have this door to go through. Hopefully we'll be able to find what we came looking for quickly. Otherwise we're good. I have a feeling this is going to be a big adventure just in here. <laughs> 